<laughs> Today we got a really cool saw to show you, the Milwaukee M18 Fuel 9-inch cutoff saw. We got a couple different series with this saw. Today it's the concrete edition. Today we're going to use it, we're going to abuse it, we're going to see what it can do and maybe some of the things that it can't. We'll talk about all the specs, you'll know everything you want to know about this saw towards the end of the video. Now today we're using the kit. I'm going to show you everything that comes in with this kit real quick here. You're going to get not one but two 12AH batteries. You're going to get the abrasive wheel right here. You're going to get a rapid charger and you're going to get the diamond wheel for your concrete. All of this for $8.99. I'll put a link in the description below. If you wanted to, you could get the tool only. You would have to look for that down here at the bottom of the page and that would cost you $5.99. So it's actually a pretty good deal if you were to buy the kit. The blades are super easy to change out. There is a tool onboard storage in the back of this saw. My suggestion to you would be use the 12.0 batteries. You also get the one key technology with this, but not only that, if you want to use this saw, I highly recommend you use the Milwaukee switch tank. This is not just for spraying pesticides or whatever. This is great for the safety of this saw. I will show you how that hooks up and it's going to come in perfect today for the concrete cutting that we will be doing. Now, I just wanted to show you real quick, this is the abrasive cutoff disc that you will get with this kit. Today, we're only going to do the concrete. We are going to cut, yes, cut these videos in half. Get it? <laughs> yeah, I know, it's funny, right? Uh, all right, all right, all right, zip it. Now, your battery is protected in this case right here. You're just going to push down on that lid and it locks in automatically. You can see the one key, it's ready to go. Now, some people were asking me about the plastic. I have no issue with the plastic build on this saw. Definitely pretty heavy duty and it will last in a heavy duty environment. No different than your circular saws, your miter saws, or whatever. But what does that hose do? Well, this is the switch tank, my friend, and it runs off a of battery. Now, if you want to protect yourself out in the field against the silicone, Silica dust, the nasty, you don't want lung cancer, right? Well, you have to make sure that you water that dust down, keep it wet, or what we like to say, moist. But before we start the slicing and the dicing, let me let you hear this real quick. You're looking at 6,600 RPM on this. Now the blade does stop pretty quickly. It's not extremely fast, but you got about three seconds before it comes to a complete stop. All right, let's hook up our water so we can start cutting. All you're gonna do is pop off that top that comes with the sprayer or the switch tank. And you got about four gallons of water you can put in there. And then you're just going to pull back and then attach it right to your saw. Now we'll do a complete review of the switch tank later. I'm just going to focus on the saw today, but that water runs all the way through the tubing up on the side of the saw and then out towards the blade underneath the blade guard. So now we are going to slice and dice. We have some regular cement block here and you can see that water just starting to gush out. Uh, it's all over my camera. Apparently I wasn't in the best position. I said shut it. So what happens when you have a live studio audience. Now that I got my camera repositioned and the water turned down, yes, you have three different settings for that switch tank. Let's try it out. Now, if you're using this for cement blocks, maybe you're cutting out a doorway. I'm telling you, this thing is awesome. 50% lighter than gas, absolutely no fumes at all. And that blade goes through that block like butter. Now let's try it again at a different angle for you. Now what I should have done is adjusted my blade before I start cutting, but I forgot. Don't judge me. Just letting you know you can pre-adjust if you want, but it will adjust itself automatically once you start cutting. All right, the cinder block be done. Let's go on to some four inch block, see how it does. Just watch how that water really helps keep that dust down. So 
So I actually had to shut it off because I started running out of water. I'll show you what that looks like here in a bit, but let's start a new cut. making a real mess of myself here but I do it for the subscribers so please don't forget to subscribe so there you go really nice smooth cut down through really really cuts through like butter especially with that water keeping that dust down does a great job but I wanted to see what it would do with some concrete now I got a concrete slab that I got to remove anyway because we're going to be laying a patio in the spring so I want to see if it'll slice and dice down through we still have about three bars left on our battery but we're going to kick that water on and we're going to start cutting. Now, right about there, you can see an orange-like kick up on the top of the saw. And what that's telling you is you're pushing down a little bit too much. You need to get those RPMs back up. And it's just saying, let, let up a little bit. Let the saw do the work. So if you really start pushing down on this thing, it will want to kick out. Now, here's the thing. Anything thicker than about four inches, you're really going to struggle. Unless you can flip that block over and cut down through it on the other side. Four inches is basically the max that you're going to be able to cut down on this. If you let the saw do the work for you, you won't have any issues with it kicking out or wanting to bog down. But if you start pressing down really hard on something just because you're getting frustrated or want the job done faster, that light will kick on and it will stop. Now again, I ran out of water. It goes through it pretty quickly if you have it up on high on that switch tank. So you can see that dust coming out. You do not want to breathe that stuff in. So I'm just going to put some more water in the tank and then continue to cut. Who the hell knew this thing was so thick? You know, all I gotta do really is get a breaker bar, but this is concrete and it is cutting down through pretty simple. I mean, there's no issue with it cutting down, you're scoring it, you're cutting it. It does a really good job. Now there is, again, there is a limit to how deep you can cut with it. You know, Milwaukee's coming out with their 12 inch and that's going to be, you know, better for certain jobs. But yes, you can cut down through reinforced concrete with the rebar inside the blade actually does a really good job now you can definitely tell how much lighter it is compared to gas here is the other benefit to the gas model when i bring my contractors in we open up a, a wall right we ended up putting in a new garage shipping door and the issue we had with the office personnel upstairs was one the fumes and to the noise so even though this isn't extremely quiet it's definitely more quiet than gas you don't have any of the co or the fumes spewing out of this saw for an 18 volt platform it has tons of power but you need to know the limitations don't think that you're going to power through something by pushing down with all of your body weight it's not going to help and it's not really safe you want the saw to do the work for you I also recommend you getting the switch tank for this because it works perfectly with it and it helps keep you safe from mitigating that silica dust in the air. The only issue I found with both of these working together is, well, the coupler is a little bit too much plastic for me and if you stepped on it, you could break it, but that's more the switch tank, not the saw. 
Other than that, it, it's beastly. Definitely check this thing out. I think it's going to make your life a lot easier out in the field and not have to worry about complaints or OSHA fines. I think it's going to help mitigate a lot of different hazards out there. Now, if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe. Smash that like button. It always helps. Make sure you look for part two coming up. We're going to be cutting some metal, steel, whatever with this. And we're also going to do a full review on the switch tank. Come say hi to us on the Instagram page at Tool Reviews and we'll be back with more videos soon.